It's package day and we've got a look to be a 9x9x9 nine by nine by nine cube. Or actually it could be a 6x6x6 six by six by six cube. Yeah, that seems to make more sense. Um, this is definitely 9 inches, this is half a foot. I know a foot when I see it and this is half of one. So let's take a look and see what we got here in this half foot by half foot by half foot box cube if you will. Well. All, I definitely can't say that this is all kill or no filler, <laughs> if you catch my drift, because there is definitely some filler in here. Um, holy cow. Holy cow. This is crazy. What the heck is this? Holy cow. Um, I guess you could call me sports card stacker now. We got shacks for my shack packs. Shack stack packs. We got more shacks for my shack stack packs. Now let me tell you something else. O'Neal baby. We got more shacks for the shack stack packs. So, so... I'm not telling you that you should do this, but I'm definitely buying some shacks for my shack stack packs. Uh, my business partner was talking about how it would be cool if we had some stack packs for um, kids to make something a little bit more kid friendly because I know a lot of you guys have kids. Um, and so we thought it would be really cool if we could have some, you know, kind of historical collectible uh, bullion, kind of constitutional silver and that kind of, that you know, something that they can learn about. Um, and pair that with some Shaq cards because everybody loves Shaq, everybody knows Shaq from young people to old people. I love Shaq for many, many different reasons. Um, he's quite a big inspiration, honestly, to me uh, for a number of reasons. And so uh, I've just always loved Shaq a lot and I just still continue to love him. And so I just thought, well, I love having my stack packs. I like having my fact stack packs. I like having my shack stack packs. And so this was an idea that we came up with and I'm very excited to figure out the logistics of how we're going to roll out shack stack packs. But shack stack packs are something that we have now committed to. And so shack stack packs are definitely going to be happening. <clears throat> so I'm very excited about that. Keep an eye out. But let's go ahead and see if we can do an unboxing as well because I don't want to just bore us with a simple sports card unboxing so let's go ahead and grab this beast let's grab this beast this thing's heavy by the way so I'm not exactly sure what's in here but uh, it could be multiple items <laughs> or one massive item I haven't really been buying a whole lot of industrial bars and stuff lately though. Um, I know a lot of people are into the generics and uh, trying to really just get close to spot. But uh, I have not been focused on what everybody is focusing on. I generally like to focus on uh, something that people are not focused on. Um, that's, but that's just kind of how I do it. Um, it's sort of my strategy, right? I generally like to go for lower market cap stuff or, um, you know, that's why I like silver so much. It's much more undervalued compared to gold in my opinion. Um, kind of the underdog, right? And so I like to root for the underdog. Um, you know, uh, when I was a kid, way back in the day, I used to, um, I used to say that my favorite color was yellow. <laughs> and uh, the reason I used to say that was because I wanted to feel, I wanted to act like the person who's okay with stuff that's that everybody doesn't like. Um, Nobody, nobody says that their favorite color is yellow, right? 
that's never anybody's um, first choice. And so I would I would say, oh yeah, my favorite color is yellow, yellow and brown. <laughs> Nobody likes yellow and brown. Nobody's favorite color is brown. Nobody's favorite color is yellow. So uh, I just found that to be funny. It's something I remembered from, from my childhood. Uh, take a look and see what we got here. This looks like quite a package. And uh, looks like they're not wanting to make this easy for me. So I'm going to go ahead and empty out some of these uh, packing peanuts here. I don't create a mess. We got some sort of a hefty bar here. Oh boy, we got multiple. Um, I'm not sure what this is. I did. Oh, I did win that. Uh, I did win a bunch of. Oh, these are. This is probably all of those 10 ounce bars that I won on auction the other day. Um, There's a whole string of Inglehard pressed 10 ounce bars that were being auctioned off. And uh, then I started going a little bit crazy. Yeah, that's what these are. I started going a little bit crazy because they, um, I started off getting a pretty good deal on them and then we just kind of, everybody was getting riled up. I kept beating everybody. and. Uh, Things got pretty heated, and by the end of it, I was paying a lot more than I was comfortable paying, and so that last one, I just, well, the last one I snagged as well, but I, you know, I wasn't really comfortable with the price that I paid on the last one, but it was, it was fun, it was, it was kind of invigorating, uh, you know, some of those auctions, they get out of hand fast, and, uh, it's, you know, you can get, you get all caught up in it, and it's all for fun, but, uh, you know, the burn in your wallet is not fun after. <coughs> start with my favorites. I got the American Eagle pressed. Uh, these are not sequentials or anything. We got a 101980 and a uh, C944061, both with a C prefix there. Um, love, love, love. Can't get enough of these stamped backs with an, a bajillion Engelhard stamped logos there. Gorgeous bar. I just love stacking these. It's a great stacking bar. Um, this is the E-Logo 10 ounce. Um, this is going to be that bar that you see on Silver Joker's, Joker's channel right here. This is, so this is what I call the Silver Joker bar. Beautiful bar. Okay, and then we've got two chunkers. These are the, you know, so these are the, these are the horizontal logo chunkers, okay? And uh, one of these is, is a little bit more rare than the other, okay? Both of these are the same, kind of the same on the front, really. Um, C2, on the top we got C242350, and on the bottom we got C140475. So actually the frosted back is going to be what's the rarer of the two here. So on the top you got the Inglehard stamped logo there, and on the bottom here you got a frosted back, and so that frosted back is going to be a little bit more rare. Um, I don't remember quite the rarity, but a uh, difference, but uh, something we could probably research if we wanted to. But uh, I'll let you guys have that fun, right? Because we always research stuff together, but uh, it's good to practice doing that yourself. So go on, go on to allinglehard.com and go to definitive pages for 10 ounce bars and search for the frosted back. And then search for this thing, right, with, the, with that uh, diagonal logo, um, and just check out the rarities of those two, and, and, and come see what you find. You'll find that this one is a little bit more rare. So I always love picking out some nice, picking up some nice ten ounces, um, and so we've got a nice stack of ten ounces here, and we got a huge stack of shack. So very excited to pick these up and I hope you have a great day.
Oh, 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 oh,